What is up, my beautiful momars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making poppin' ramen. I love popping cooking so much. Look at these packets. I don't understand Japan. I'm so excited to do this one right now. Okay, you're just gonna start off by cutting open this tray, cut it into separate pieces like so, and then you wanna have. This is the candy like dough. It kind of feels like an airhead, and uh, you just wanna take it and measure it and get into this nice little ball. Make sure it fits into this mold measuring thing right here. Once you use those, you wanna get the whole piece, put it in a ball, cut it in half. So now you have two perp halves, and you can measure them out and spread it out to fit this disc circle shape right here that they gave you an awesome thing. Japan, you're too much. Look at this. You can just measure out your perfect disc right here, and you're gonna just peel it off, and you're gonna have these perfect discs. And then you have this recessed mold. We're gonna just imprint this disc thing that looks like an airhead, and you're just gonna just keep pushing it around. And then it just comes out, and it looks like this wrapper thing. And you just fill it with this green one, and it, it, that's like the meat and the peas. And this is like a candy gyoza now. It's beautiful. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this candy. Look at. There's another one here. You're just gonna fill that up, squeeze it together, and now you have two candy gyozas. Like Japan, I love gyoza. And now we're gonna make the broth for a ramen. Pretty simple. Just add it, just like you're making top ramen at home. Mix it together with a fork or something like that. You don't even have to use hot water. And now we're gonna make our noodles with the orange packet. I cannot wait. But the noodles are not just noodles. You're gonna use it for something else too. But you wanna mix this all nice and tight together. Just move it around, make it all smooth. Look at that, it's just transforming in front of your eyes. Mix, 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 mix. Now you wanna poke this toothpick that comes with it through this bag and you wanna grab some of the yellow that is in there, this yellow stuff that you're gonna use for your noodles eventually and put it into the bag that was also the measuring thing Japan also you want to just keep balls that we made earlier and you want to push it down into these other molds right here just be very aggressive with it just push it down yes look at it. there's a Naruto look at the Naruto right there you want to press this out oh my gosh that's an egg that's an egg wait but there's nothing in the egg now there is you just want to take some of that yellow stuff that you just made fill up those things follow the line right here just trace it all around like this Yes, look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. Now you're just gonna make your ramen. Oh, yes, look at all your ramen. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Just squeeze it all around, all around, all around, all around, and just simply squeeze your ramen into here and just like lift up if you want and just cut it into strands. Do whatever you want, have fun with it. Look how much ramen there is. There's so much in this packet that it just, it just keeps coming out. I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> it keeps coming out. Look at how we have miniature ramen. Put the Naruto on top, put the egg in there, and then here's our miniature popping cooking ramen. It's so beautiful. I can't believe this looks like legit ramen. Like, look at this. Look at the noodles right here. What the heck? Oh my gosh, Japan. The gyoza. Right now, let's try it. Let's go. It's crunchy and juicy. <laughs> what? Got like an airhead with like some pixie sticks in it. Japan. How? That was good. Let's try some of these noodles. Mm, let's go. I love soft boiled eggs. Sorry, I had to just take a moment for it. First, we always gotta try the broth. You know, first thing you do when you get some ramen. Mmm. You can tell the chef really spent a lot of time with this ramen. <laughs> How did they make these noodles? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, this ramen is just not gonna be enough. I know how to actually make this ramen into a lot more. You just gotta go out and get one of these rice hats and you just and put it right on top like so. And just wait now for about, you know, like an hour. All right guys, should be about one hour now. And let's go ahead and... <gasps> oh my gosh, it worked, okay. <sighs> See? I told you it would work, just this giant bowl of ramen now. And we have a lot of ramen in our bowl. And I'm just gonna give this a taste test. Let's see. Ooh, it's warm. Japan, I don't know how you do these things. Mm, mm. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Not bad ramen, you know. But I mean, give or take, you have to wait an hour for it. It's still pretty good. I like it. Hey, Marlon. 
I like this a lot. Huh? What? Dude, what? What's that? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Dude, what? What was that? No, just watch me eat this ramen. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching me make this giant miniature ramen popping cooking today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's. And peace!